What to be YouTube Kids Plus Primary back at you with another video. Um, sorry I haven't been on YouTube lately. Um, just having to do some stuff to get ready for for the summer. You know, starting to get some stuff out job done, some tutoring, yada yada. But um, I've been wanting to do this for a while now, but for some reason I've always been forgetting, and I don't know why. But um, I'm doing it now. But, um, today we'll be having a look, I'm doing a reshoot review, but today we'll be having a look at the Kamen Rider Double DX Trigger Magnum. I shot a review of this thing back in 2010, and for the like of me, um, the camera quality was pretty bad, so I guess it's better if I reshoot this thing. And plus this is a better angle to shoot it at, than just trying to, you know, have my camera pointing that way. You get the idea. Before you have a look at this... <coughs> Let's look at the, one of the main reasons I bought the, the thing in the first place. The trigger memory itself. Um, now, for those of you that know, the super best uh, double driver just came out. And um, it comes with a trigger memory. But um, you still get the shaft with the maximum drive by itself. You do need um, the magnum for it to work. But um, the, the memory is still the same. Um, I don't have that, but I would like it at some point. Um, it's a clear blue color. You can see the circuitry. There is a gold tip. So it goes in the gold terminal of the double driver, and this is also one of the Shulteral's memories. Uh, it has the T on there in the shape of a gun, which I do really like. Um, so it's trigger on the side there. Um, um, I forgot the name of the actual battery, but um, the batteries in this... I like my third batch, and they're American brand batteries. I forgot the names of them. I think they're 2537s or something. I, I forget. But, um, yeah. So, um, this thing's pretty loud, and it's also pretty bright. So, let me start off with the sounds. Let me just look at the light. And over just for good blacks. Yeah. So, um, also the, the sounds of the double driver last. Moving on to the gun, um, this is the first gun toy I own, and, um, I always like riders who have gun weapons, like, I always liked, I always liked, uh, Zolda, or Torque, whatever you want to call them, I like Delta, um, Ibuki, Drake, Denil's gun form, Kiva, the end. Any rider who really uses a gun as a weapon, I really do like because I just really like gun weapons. But um, this thing does require batteries. Runs on two triple A's, uh, like every other roleplay toy. Uh, there's a switch down here on the bottom. Unlike many other common rider toys, there's no uh, power up sound. Like with my mobile so you get a power up sound, but this one you don't. So here's the sound you get when you pull the trigger. You pull the trigger, you get the sound of a gun firing. I believe it's eight shots, is what they said. Yeah, it sounds like eight. And if you just hold it once, uh, it just doesn't happen, the rapid fire, but oh well. Um, it's a good fit for my hand. It's almost about the size of a Nerf gun, which I am quite familiar with now. Let me show you what it's like when you do the maximum drive without the gun turned on, where there's no battery. So let me just go ahead and demonstrate. Just plug it in. Here's what happens. You hit a click. The way it works, um, there's, it plugs in like a normal guy memory in the maximum drive slot. You know, there's a little pin that push the button on the guy memory. Um, that one. And when you click it up, the guy memory hits a button inside of here. I'm not sure if it's going to come out on camera, but there's, a little clear button in there that when pushed makes the rest of the maximum drive sound. So that's why when this goes in, it only makes half of it. When you click this up, it stops. And that's why I got the shaft when you get the super best double driver. But since I got the gun fired up and I got the memory and there is a Orion Zodiac here and Force is asking me to shoot it, I'll do it for him. So I just plug it in. Pick it up. 
Can you pull the trigger? Now another thing I also kind of do is I guess I kind of pretend that this is a henshin device for Common Rider Trigger, which is someone I kind of made up, and his henshin sequence is like this. Henshin! Shut up! Let me deal with him. I'm joking, but um... There is a clip on the back here for the uh, Spider Shock, Stag Phone, or the Bat Shot. And I believe there's also rumors that the uh, Kabuto Zector can also fit on here. Um, but you can fit any of the Magic Get Memory Gadget Series weapons on here. Uh, from the first wave, I'm not sure if the Frog Pod or the Dead Dead Sensor fit on here. Uh, the Beetle Phone does, because it's just a retool of the Stag Phone. But uh, yeah. And to pop out the, the memory, just hit this full button. Pops right out. Now, as I said in the beginning, I'll show you what happens with the double driver. Uh, there's two buttons. The way guy members work is that there's two buttons. Um, one on this side and this side. When you plug it into the belt or the weapons, it hits a button which causes these sounds to activate, um, depending on which one you hit. So if you hit this one, I'll just use my finger now, you get this sound. I apologize, I'm using my middle finger. But that's what happens. But, use it on this side, and you get something a little better. You can the dogs if you can. Now, for some reason, in every other review I see on YouTube, um, I'm not sure if it's just the way the cameras work or if it's the sound clips in their me memories, but for some reason, they sound like they're accurate to the show or they're, they're like a higher pitch. Um, mine sounds pretty close, exactly like the show. Um, I guess if you want to, you could pass this off as a T2 trigger Gaia memory, um, just without just ignore the pauses if you have a lost driver. But um, I like this thing. Something that would be off, but um. I really do love this thing, it's a really cool weapon, um, I paid about, mm, I forget how much, but um, I bought it off of a Japanese seller, I forget the name, um, planned to buy it through um, CS Toys, but they were sold out at the time. Um, if you have the super best double driver, I would highly recommend picking this up, because um, the trigger memory works the exact same way. Um, this and the skull memory, and, yeah, this and the skull memory always get the shaft when it comes to buying guy memory solo with maximum drive sounds, but, you know, if you're still doing this for the henshin, it works, but, um, I recommend this thing, I always like gun weapons, it's really cool, uh, it helps, it's a good weapon for when I'm playing war, so I guess this is about it, later guys, I am out of here.